I know you guys said the weather was gonna be bad in Melbourne, but I was not expecting this. It is 16 degrees, it's cold, and it's pouring, pouring with rain. And the forecast says that it's gonna rain all day today. It's funny because speaking about the weather, yesterday was sunny, gorgeous. It was so hot, but it was insanely windy. It's so windy today, I don't understand. <laughs> There's even trees broken. There was trees falling over. I we didn't see them fall over, but they were fallen over. So surprisingly today, it's completely changed from being super hot and windy to no wind at all, but just rain and colder. But we still have loads of fun stuff we want to do today. We're in Melbourne. This is our room. Yeah, this is where we've been staying. It is the Brady Hotels Jones Lane. There are many Brady Hotels in Melbourne, which we found out yes, the day before yesterday when we arrived at the wrong one. Are we in the right place? Aren't we? No, we're in the wrong place. What do you mean? Hello, uh, uh, Peter. Uh, it's the wrong hotel. <laughs> yeah, we're in the Brady Hotel Jones Lane. Are you still there? Okay, we'll be there now. <laughs> was not this one but this one is so lovely we got Look, upgraded yeah we got upgraded which first when we arrived we were like oh it must be the balcony but i think it's the fact that it's a corner room because we have all of these windows and then this whole row of windows and the bathroom also has windows but they're like opaque gish so you can't see through them also one more thing before we go and this is basically just my own cur curiosity the beds, all of the beds we've had in Australia, which technically have only been two, because this is the second one, because it's Dave and the camper, we made that bed ourselves, but none of them have duvet covers. And I don't know if this is like n n normal or if this has just happened in both of the hotels we've been in, but like the duvet just lays between sheets. So there's like a sheet and then a duvet and then another sheet, but I don't understand. You put the duvet inside a thing that's made because why is it sandwiched? This is, it gets so crumply bumply, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it falls apart sometimes. This one hasn't, but the last place This one place hasn't, did. yeah. The last place, we were like, what's, where's the sheet? And then you're like touching the duvet, but like, you're not meant to have skin contact with the duvet because that's been on other people's beds and that doesn't get washed as often as the sheet. Anyway. If anyone yeah. knows. <laughs> if anyone knows the mystery of the bedding in Australia. <laughs> All the trams in the CBD of Melbourne are completely free, but we are walking only about 10 minutes, so no need for us to jump on a tram. It yeah. would probably take us longer to yeah. go on the tram than to walk. I looked up 12 minutes to walk, 13 minutes to tram, and it's nice to kind of get yourself moving a little bit in the morning, so here we are in the rain. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, watching the rain fall outside. I think it's another QR code situation. Yeah, they like QR code uh, menus here in, in uh, Australia, don't they? Yeah. It does make it kind of easier, I guess, if you have a smartphone. If you have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you Thank very you. much. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh an edible God. cup. <laughs> Let us explain what's happening here. I have got, this is I think the first time in Australia that I've veered away from just having a classic latte, which have been delicious, but this one sounded so much fun. Cheesy macchiato latte, which is like a cheese foam, salted caramel, espresso, milk. It's like an iced latte, but like with a creamy, I think it's like a milk foam on top. It can't be cheese, can't be. <laughs> Probably like a cream cheese. Yeah, like a like a cheesecake kind of situation going on. And then a lot of you guys in our comments, but mainly on Instagram, have suggested for us to try this edible coffee cup, which is made here in Melbourne, I think. Apparently, it's full of loads of fiber. It's made from oats and grains. It lasts up to eight hours. <clears throat> it breaks down naturally. It's 100% vegan. 
It's made in Melbourne, which is cool, and you can eat it, obviously, you can compost it, you can plant it, or you can just bin it because it just biodegrades mega fast. But I feel like that's a dangerous one to try to bite into when the coffee's still inside. And a cherry Danish. And we are in a cafe called Sol Sol. It looked so cute online. It looks cute in real life as well. It seems quite popular when the rain is falling outside. Can't get any better. Go on, stir that. Mm. Whoa. Oh, that looks really nice. Mm. I mean, the coffee is just a delicious coffee. Oh. Does it taste cheery? No, it's like, because it has salted caramel, it kind of, it's like quite savory. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Coffee in, in Australia in general has been very consistent. Mm -hmm. It's been like, I feel like they use the same beans. I don't know if I'm talking crap here, but it's all, it's all been great. I think as I've been drinking this, the coffee has been kind of changing taste a little bit to be a bit more oaty. I did have an oat milk latte anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, should I bite into yeah, it? Yeah, bite into it. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't taste good. <laughs> no. It's really dry. It tastes like a really, really healthy biscuit. Maybe I'd like it. Try it. It smells like something that was really nice with like cheese. You know, like a cheese on a nice oaty biscuit. <laughs> I see what you mean. It's like, it tastes like it's definitely edible. But it also tastes like maybe you wouldn't want to eat it just at leisure. But I guess it's really good for the environment rather than paper cups, plastic cups. Obviously here we could have just had a glass cup and washed it, but I don't dislike it. But it's not my favorite biscuit I've ever had. It's kind of stopped raining now, so we're going to make the most of it. Do a bit of walking around, go down towards the... I'm not going to call it a marina because it's not a marina, but we'll go down to the water and then do a bit of exploring. Notice anything unusual? That's right, I'm rocking a moustache now. It's a bold move, kind of like venturing into the wild web without a VPN. But fear not, because while my moustache shields my upper lip from the elements, NordVPN shields our online activities from prying eyes, especially on those sketchy public Wi-Fi networks. So, why NordVPN? Well, their service allows us to stay connected and safe, no matter where we are in the world. We can access content as if we're back home, keep our personal information secure, and even get better deals on flights, online services, and accommodations by switching our online location. If you sign up today for a two-year plan using our link, nordvpn.com forward slash two passports, you'll get an additional four bonus months for free on top of NordVPN's already fantastic security features. Plus, with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee, you can try it out completely risk-free. Just click the link in the description box below or head to nordvpn.com forward slash two passports. It's a small step and a massive upgrade to your online security and freedom. And just like growing this magnificent mustache, taking that first step with NordVPN will have you wondering why you didn't do it any sooner. The skyline here in Melbourne the buildings all look really modern, but also really shiny. <laughs> yeah. Like this one here is shining green, and then the one above us here, I can't see it now, but it's like purple and green. Maybe because it's really hot here sometimes that this sort of window, or these windows are special kind of tint. Hello. Hello. Hey, you match. Can you see me? Do Turn I blend in? Turn around. <laughs> Where'd you go? Huh? <laughs> I said, where did you go? <laughs> yeah. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> but what our taxi driver was telling us the other day, uh, Peter, is that in the last 10 years, yeah. there's been so much development here yeah. in, in, the, in the CBD. And yeah, you can, you can actually tell. But it's not bad, like it, because they've made them look so modern and nice and shiny. Doesn't look bad. It looks obviously, nice. it's not like you walk around and you're like, "Ugh, these are all empty and like there's nothing in here." Everything seems to have shops and offices, and it seems to be like a lot of people actually living. There's a lot of apartment complexes as well that are being built in the city, so it's not. 
it's not like Sydney where a lot of people seem to live outside of the city and then travel into the city. I think people here just live in the center of the city because you're able to, uh, in a more, more affordable sort of way compared to Sydney anyway. <laughs> We've had this in Thailand before, but it's called Tao Bin, because Tao means turtle. It's the same brand, which is just like a coffee, sodas and everything. In a yeah, vending machine. Protein shake here as well. Oh, that's cool. How much? $3.20. That's cheap. Coffee. Latte. $3.50. Australia is cheap, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't say Australia is cheap, but I would say it's not as expensive as people made it out that it was going to be. Before we came to Australia, everyone was like, oof. Okay, get ready, it's expensive. And we were like, okay, okay. <sighs> we have to budget differently, la la la. It's been more affordable than the UK in terms of food and accommodation. It's been more affordable than Sweden in terms of food and accommodation. Um, I think the only thing that's been more expensive is getting here. Yeah. So far. Yeah, which is great. More coffees for us. We're now walking through an area called Swanston Street. So this is the street that's going down this side. There's a tram going uh, both ways, but there's loads of shops on each side, cafes. I think there's loads of Asian places. Where are you? I'm here. I'm here. We're covered now. I can take my hood off. <laughs> I couldn't see anything. <laughs> I don't know if this is like the, the Chinatown area, but there's loads of uh, Chinese well, places. There's loads of Chinese, but also there's loads of Korean, loads of Vietnamese I've also seen, um, loads of Indonesian, loads of Malay, loads of, loads of loads of loads of various Asian cuisines, yeah. which is A-OK -okay in our books because we love the food. Yeah. After the flights where we got to Melbourne, the first night we had Korean food. And then the day after when we just went to do all our laundry and stuff, we had Vietnamese food. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's like, I feel like Melbourne, no, not Melbourne. I feel like Australia doesn't necessarily have a very sort of like Australian cuisine. And you're probably gonna be like, yes, it does. But it's very similar to British cuisine, like fish and chips, pies, like that's delicious but we've had that many times, many, 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 many times before. And yeah, maybe it's a little bit different here and it's probably very delicious here, but they do such fantastic Asian foods here. It's like, you can't resist, you know? So I think this big, beautiful red gate is the entrance of Chinatown. So that wasn't Chinatown. That was just delicious street food, street with food on it, not street food. And here is Chinatown. This one? Cool. Are we getting off here? We're we getting off? <laughs> That's fun. So it's just like the CBD area that has this, well, it's not just this tram, it's any tram in the CBD area whilst it's crossing through the area is free. That's so cool. So that was free. Oh, 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 that is very nice and colorful, isn't it? This is a photo spot central. This is a Hosier Lane, which is a road famous for its uh, street art. And it's pretty cool, super colorful. Yeah, there's like a fine line when graffiti becomes street art because it's just a matter of it being allowed in the area, right? Because it is still graffiti paint, but it's street art. Behind me here is Flinders Street Station and is an iconic landmark here in Melbourne. It's the oldest train station in Australia. It looks, actually, it looks really nice from the outside. From the inside, it looks like a regular train station. But I've seen loads about this on social media because there's, the way that they do the announcements is super fun. It's like really charming and like jokey. I love when they do that. It like brightens your day. You're supposed to take like a, train to work and you're like ah oh, how gloomy and then somebody's there just like have a wonderful day oh, and you're like oh yeah. <laughs> I love these that. things are cool these uh these times here actually change 
So they're not clocks, they're just telling you the time. That that specific line goes and there's a little square just underneath it that says which platform as well. Yeah. Old school, but cool. As old school, but cool. And totally works, so why change it? Rain is getting worse now, but we're crossing the river <laughs> over here. You can see the stadium over there. I'm not sure which stadium is it. Is it the cricket ground or the football ground? I don't know. But we are crossing to go up that big building over there. Obviously, we booked it about a month ago when it was... Uh, well, well, we, we were didn't know anticipating the forecast. rain, basically. Um, I think we just weren't expecting it to be rainy and cold in Australia in general. But either way, we have booked to go up to the Sky Deck, which is super cool. And it's one of those things that we kind of like to do when we're in a new city, if they have one, because you get to see it ugh, from such a different perspective. And it's just like really nice to see the whole city or as much of the city as you can. And then you're like, oh, that's where we were earlier. And like, that's where we're going later. And it's just, it's just really nice. The weather is rubbish. So I hope they have some sort of covering up there because it's actually getting worse. <laughs> and it's coming from the side now. But we booked our tickets yet again on Kluk, which is just brilliant because it means that they're just, the QR code is on the phone, scan it, good to go. And you know how they love QR codes in Australia anyway. So it's just like a win-win. <laughs> Um, we book tickets online. Hold on. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Current visibility intermittent. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Ah, here. It's called the Eureka Tower. Nice. Did you pop? Yeah, they pop twice. 88 floors. Whoa. Hello. Thank you. I can't believe how fast we got up here. That's actually whoa, crazy talk. Yeah, that's the fastest lift I've ever been on. 38 yeah. seconds to go up 88 floors. How much is that per floor? Like half a second. That is crazy. My ears popped three times. <laughs> wow. Whoa. It is very intermittent. It's enclosed though, so we're not in the rain, we're not in the wind, which is really nice because when you're this high up, that can be a little bit intense. <gasps> oh, that's so high up. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. It's like you can't look away, but you also don't want to look. <laughs> that's the station that we were just looking at down there. That's actually the longest platform in Australia. The longest platform? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fun. It is long. Yeah. Fourth longest in the world. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can. Oh. Do it. Sorry. Oh, no, it's scary. You're safe. How's that feel? <sighs> Go up. It feels quite intense because it's like the peak of the building. I am scared of heights, but because it's enclosed, I feel like I can't accidentally jump off. But still, my legs are like shaking. <laughs> and it goes down, the floor goes down and then goes up at the peak. So it's like, oh, I need to hold on to something steady for a second. Like you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, can I have a summer's B cider and a, um, which lager do you have? Uh, Peroni Red is a lager. Yeah, I'll have one of those, please. $23. Thanks. Whoa, where did the view go? Oh, whoa. No, it was here, I swear. I've been looking out the whole time you've been ordering. That is, <laughs> that's just happened. Okay, it is intermittent. It is intermittent, yes. We've had good views so far, and it's still really cool to be sat up here. We're at bar 88, because we're on the 88th floor. Cheers. Cheers. Good choice bringing these out today. Yes. Very good choice. And now it's high time to get some food. Is this it? Oh, we are here. So it took us a few stops on the tram that was free and it stops right outside of Queen Victoria Market. Brilliant. Perfect timing. There are various sections here, like fruit and vegetables, 
meat section, I think, you know, like a it's random a proper market, like a pro like an actual real market, but it also has actual prepared food that you can just consume straight away. Let's go. Ooh. We've got churros, which I love, but I don't want to buy the first thing that we see just in case there's more delicious food. Here is dried fruits. Mmm, oh, smells good. Ooh. This is a busy and loud market. And I actually read that it's the biggest open air market in the southern hemisphere. Try before you buy. I always feel bad trying before you buy because you always feel like you have to buy it if you try it. So I just don't try it. <laughs> it's so intense. It's just like the markets. You know, you feel like you're in a real market when there's people yelling really loud. It feels loudly. like Sicily. It feels like Sicily. It does. And they're just like, but this time we can actually understand what they're saying. In Sicily, they're just yelling really loudly in Italian. But, wow, that's so fun. What a vibe. <laughs> Let's go to the food section, shall we? Yeah. I think we need to go to the other building. If we go along this way, then we're cutting across all the lanes. But they sell loads of stuff here. There's fruits and vegetables where we are now. I think we're coming into a bit more of a clothing area as well. So it's not just consumables. And we are here on a Saturday. So it is probably the most busy time that we could have come here. Yeah. But maybe because it's raining, it's a little bit on the quieter side. Yeah. Yeah. But still, busy. Busy. So we come to the clothing section now. <laughs> it goes instantly quieter because the clothes are like a sound dampener. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, no one's really yelling about like deals here. I think that's more of a fruit and vegetable kind of thing. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, it's so big. Holy guacamole. Vegan Ethiopian cuisine. Oh. This one's got a queue. Or this, yeah. Oh, momos. They're the um, Nepali stuff, aren't they? Well, it says oh, Tibet. Tibet. Fried or unfried? Fried. Fried momos. Okay. Uh, can I please have six pieces of the fried veggie momos? Yes, please. They're so busy. The queue is like pretty much constant. The food smells so good. And we've got a little buzzer, so when it's ready, it'll go brrr. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, soy sauce for sure, right? Go mild or hot? Hot, probably. Yeah. Oh, but that looks and smells incredible. All right. So I'm gonna get some Jamaican food. Can I have the burger, please? And fries. Can I also have the scotch bonnet mayo? Yeah. Thanks. The first meal that we've gotten is from one of the places called Oz Tibet Kitchen. And I've got vegetarian fried momos. I've heard of momos before, but only in terms of Nepalese food. <laughs> I hope it's not gonna blow my face off. Cause I'm okay with spicy food, but like, I'm not that good at it. And the vegetarian. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> Let's see the inside. Wow. <coughs> a little bit spicy. Not too bad. Inside is like a... Like a veggie, creamy, almost like potato-y filling. You see that? Yeah. Really good. The sauce is so tasty. This is not just like spicy, it's like, ooh, flavors. Mm. Yeah, sauce is good. It's like a mix between a samosa and a dumpling. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. <laughs> That's me. Go, go, go. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Enjoy, Cheers. Wow. I was, <laughs> I was halfway through <laughs> my momo when my uh, food was. Uh, Ready. Wow. This place that I've got my food from is called The Real Jerk. And it's uh, <laughs> like Caribbean food. But it looks insane. Oh my God. Even these fries. Wow. With the, uh, however, Scotch bonnet mayo. So that is going to be uh, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Those are like up there with some of the best chips I've ever had. Really? They just melt in your mouth. This burger, which technically is not really a burger, it's more like a piece of meat inside a bun with some sauce. Whoa. Some jerk Whoa. sauce in there. Some fresh lettuce, cheese. And the bread, I promise you, is the softest bread ever. Oh my God. 
I can't wait for this. That's incredible. I wasn't actually sure which kind of meats I was gonna get, but I assume jerk is mostly chicken. But because the way they've cooked it, it's like charred. I thought it was gonna be like beef or something, but it's definitely chicken. Oh my God. This is really good. Wow. <laughs> I was hungry as well. Oh my God. One of these. And if you like sweet, get a mandarin. I think this will be good. Yeah. Price, price, yeah. Price. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. Wow. Blood orange, you know, I actually love blood orange, but when people give me too many options, my brain shuts down. I've never but tried real blood orange before. Blood orange is good. That is good. It's like orange juice, but like with a with a ooh, with a twist. Okay. Well, I've never had it before, so. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of bittery, but not really. Wow. That is good. So are they just uh, like a different type of orange? Yeah, it's like when you cut it open, it's like pinkish on the inside. Wow. It's easily mistaken, I guess, kind of, for grapefruit, but it's not as bitter as grapefruit. The donuts that we spotted earlier, it's hard to say no, and I feel like I need something sweet to dampen down how spicy my mouth still is. <laughs> but they seem to have one flavor, and they're quite small. Five for ten, did we get five? Yeah, five. Five donuts? Can I have five, please? Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, that was fast. Oh, they're hot. Yeah? Yes. Yes, they are. Wow, the rain is continuing, but we are happy because we've got donuts from American Donut Kitchen. Very apt. Oh, they're jam filled. What? Are they all filled? Yes, they are. Oh. <laughs> they are. Still hot. Wow. That looks so good. Should I try it? Mm. Oh. Mmm. That's such a nice jam. Actually, jam donuts. I actually don't really like. I uh, have not liked in the past, but just because the jam. So maybe you said the jam was good, so let's see. No, this jam is good. Mm. Oh, that's solid. Donuts always better hot. And we got five for $10. Mm. Brilliant. We got to keep some of these for later. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Really good. Good market. All right, the rain is not stopping no. here in Melbourne. <laughs> It's been relentless today, but it's been a fun day. It's been so nice despite the really not so nice weather. But tomorrow we have something very exciting booked that has no need for good weather. No. Although it would be nice, but it's inside technically. And I'm super excited for it. It's going to be brilliant. So we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.